Hey guys, it's Sivania from Merch.com. Jax released the first part of the Elf City design documents this week, and I was really happy to read it. In case you're wondering, that is not related to the Grand Exchange booths that will be in the city, unless Jagex does plan to add additional Grand Exchange slots, which would be one of the best updates ever. But yeah, the reason why the city is great for merchanting is something different, though. Jagex states that the city will be for, for people from level 75 to 99 in skills and uh, beyond. Now between level 75 and 99 we have about 12 mil XP, which is the vast majority of the way to 99 last I checked. Now the city itself introduces a bunch of new ways to train your skills, some of which will obviously require raw materials to train them. That in itself will be enough investing material, but uh, what particularly interests me is this 20% XP uh, bonus for two groups of two skills each hour. Now why is this so interesting? Because people will be hopping from skill to skill to get most out of it. They will be impulsively instant buying and instant selling raw materials and finished products. This will lead to faster flips and more fluctuation, which in turn creates bigger margins. It simply helps to boost all sorts of merchanting. It's really just like people coming up to you and being like, here, have my money, dude, I don't need it. Now since the city is designed to be the preferred area for high level players, you can count on the training methods being great XP, so the impact of this update on the market should be significant. This first batch uh, will be released in September and will have 4 segments with 2 skills in each of them. Of those segments there will only be 1 with a bonus per hour, so this first batch doesn't appear as interesting merchanting wise just yet, until a second batch comes along which is scheduled for November this year. Uh, then the other four segments will be released, resulting in a total of 16 skills, and uh, of those, two groups of two will get a 20% XP boost every hour. In total, there will be quite a few viable skills out there, which should make all of this really interesting. So personally, I really look forward to this update, and I'm glad it won the poll against the Inventor skill, because it just seemed a bit silly to not have uh, any skills for three years, and then suddenly two in one year time while leaving content that has been anticipated for like 10 years untouched. I was also somewhat beginning to lose hope for merchanting in the long term, to be very honest, uh, after Jagex leaked info on the level 90 2H weapons. A lot of people uh, look forward to these, just because they are new and might look cool and all that, but the economy is being harmed a lot by this leak. We have already seen Drygors and Seismics crash uh, substantially, also because of some other factors, but the level 92H weapons did play the majority of the role here. Uh, they're just bad for the economy in my opinion, because the damage per second on two-handed and dual wielding are equal, meaning that these weapons won't be any better than current dual wielding options. You could even argue that switching to a shield is much easier when dual wielding. Um, but yeah, as far as I'm aware, the 2H weapons are only superior to dual wielding while PKing, because of higher hits at random, which allow for combo streaks. Now, problem is, nobody in their right mind is going to risk level 90 2H weapons in the wilderness, rendering this advantage obsolete. So without these new weapons being superior, there won't be any reason for people to buy them over dual wielding weapons, putting their price near or at the dual sets after a while, and their prices are already really low which means that we have less expensive items in game and this is why it is ultimately bad for merchanting because we have like a real lack of expensive items in the game right now a lack of them results in people hogging up on the same few and this narrows down the margins and profits and makes the whole system a lot more vulnerable if party hats are crashing for example people want to sell those off and reinvest in something else but if there's only a limited amount of items to do this in all of their prices will constantly be pushed up in the long term. Now this may sound great to some investors, but at some point this bubble does burst and thanks to people being quite greedy in general, only a few will walk away unharmed. It is also vulnerable because as soon as Jagex introduces another money sink, these items will crash too. Decreasing prices in overall is simply part of their long term strategy, where the players are good because they play a lot and not because they're wealthy and can buy a lot of things unless it is with bonds of course. It is part of discouraging real world trading for them, um, and for the game aspect this all makes perfect sense, but for merchanting it's just bad news. I really hope to see more expensive items in the future, or perhaps Shagex will prove me wrong on the two-handed weapons and uh, introduce a new way to make them more useful. Of course the boss that will drop the level 90 200 weapons will allow us to get some good profits for in, uh, from investments and flips, but that is somewhat short-term thinking, I'd personally rather see 
expensive items maintain their high prices for a longer time rather than just going for quick wins. So yeah, good and bad news in my opinion. Uh, let me know what updates you are looking forward to in the comments or what you think about the Elf City and the level 92 handed weapons. Uh, take care guys and I'll see you all again next week for another video.